Welcome everyone. This is Ultimate Academy's team presenting Onyx Financial Track, uh, which is a series of lectures explaining Onyx Pro ERP, how to deal with the system basically and the features that it has to offer your business, supporting of course a variety of activities. So in this lecture, we will be talking about how to view general ledger reports. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll bring up the first screen, chart of account report. On the top, we have this header, which is a bunch of options that control a few things about the report. First thing we have is show header. So if you wanna show the header on the report itself, which is set up in the system by default, you will just select shown from the drop-down menu. However, if you wanna hide it, you will select not shown. To demonstrate that, we'll show you guys an example. So now we will select shown and then we will view the report. All right, so you will see on the top that it says Ultimate Solutions Egypt, uh, Egypt branch, PO box number, and so on. Um, but if we choose not shown and bring up the report one more time with that setting, you'll just see the title of the report without any details. That was the first option. The second one is print interface. All right, so in case you wanna add a preview on the screen to review the report and make sure everything is accurate before printing, you can select screen. However, if the user wants to print out right away, you can just select printer. Moving on to the option after that. Copies number um, just basically determines the number of copies that you're gonna be printing out. So one, two, whichever. Language is the language that you wanna display the report in. So for now, uh, only English and Arabic are supported in Onyx. Notice that if you choose Arabic, um, as you can see on the screen, it will bring up the accounts that you've already added in Arabic. Or to be more accurate, it will be, show, it will be showing the names of the accounts which were written in Arabic in the account name field. If you pick English though, it will show you the accounts that we've typed down their names in foreign name field. This is basically just to emphasize on the point that we've established before, which is that if you're using the English interface, you will need to write down all the data in the foreign name field for accurate viewing of this data later on or throughout the whole system. All right, so then we have print form. We have seven different templates or samples saved by default. And moving down to report title uh, and report footer as well. You can add a title and a footer of your choice for the report. The system already creates a title for your report according to the data that will show on that report. So since here we're talking about the chart of accounts, the default title will be chart of accounts. However, if you add basically anything to report title, it will replace the default title. Let's give it an example. So if we write down company accounts, it will replace the chart of accounts. From user number, we will select the user code or the user basically. And in account types, we have four different choices. All will show you all the accounts in the chart of accounts from A to Z. And in case you want to view the chart of accounts report according to a certain level, you will select level. And then in the level field, you will type down the level number that you want. So for example, level number five. And if you want to view the main accounts, we will select main accounts and the system will show you all of the main accounts. And sub-accounts um, means that the system will only show you the sub-accounts. So in other words, it will show you the accounts that only get affected by the transactions. As for report type drop-down menu, all will show you all the accounts that appear on the financial report. But if you pick balance sheet, then it will bring up only the accounts that come up on the balance sheet, which are the assets and the liabilities.
All right, and if we choose income statement, it will bring up the accounts revenue and expenses. Cash flow um, will show you the accounts that we have linked with the cash flow. Um, all right, so accounts groups means that in case you've added any groups in the chart of accounts setup screen, it will come up in this drop down menu. Otherwise, it will just have one option, which is all. In, um, in from account and to account, you will specify the account codes that will show on the reports. All right, so if you select from one to two, it will bring up the assets accounts up to the first account in the liabilities, which is liabilities itself, the parent account. All right, so as you can see here, it's bringing up the main account. And on the right, it will show you the names of the accounts that you have selected. From date and to date, you can use these two fields to select specific accounts that were added during a specific period of time. Use cost center has the options not used, optional, and mandatory. If we select not use, it will show you the accounts on which we have selected the option not use cost center in the chart of accounts. So optional and mandatory have the exact same idea. As for flow type, it has um, three choices. The three choices are operator, investment, and finance. The choice you make will show you the accounts that have already been linked to that choice, which we've already set up in the chart of account screen. Account detail type contains seven options, same idea as the previous two fields. And here we wanna add a side note that if you would like to basically disregard the specifications in the previous three fields and you want to just view all kinds of accounts without these limitations, you can select the empty choice in the drop down menu of each field. So, for example, if you do not want to be limited by accounts that you've chose not to use the cost center for, then select the empty option. All right, so in currency drop down menu, the system will show you all the currencies that you've added in the currency setup screen. Classification name will show you the classifications that you've added in the chart of accounts setup screen. And account status helps you choose whether you want to view all the inactive, um, all the inactive accounts or the active accounts, or even accounts that were suspended and then reactivated or accounts that are still inactive and so on. Sort by will arrange the data on the report. You have the option to sort it by code or by name. And that's basically everything for this report. We'll move on to the next one. All right, so we will skip a few reports and go with cash and banks reports. You'll notice that um, we have several similarities between all the report screens throughout the whole system. And we already know here uh, what the header top of the screen is for. Uh, the only difference in the screen is that here we can choose whether we want to view cash in hand or cash at bank. In case we choose um, cash in hand, then it will show you the saves which you've added in the system in the cash in hand screen. And on the report though, it will show you the safe number, the name of the safe, um, and the account that it's linked to, the safe type and the currency it deals with. However, if we go back and we choose um, cash at bank instead, and then view the report one more time, you will see that it's showing you the same detailed data, but for a bank. And it will also show you the actual account number at the bank. In case we choose cash in hand, you can specify the type of the safe, whether it is receipt or payment or receipt and payment and so on. Uh, the type is basically the type that we've chose while creating that save in cash on hand screen. And that's basically, basically everything for this report here. So we've established that all of the report screen help you customize your report according to your needs. So 
all you have to do is just select the options that best suit your business needs. This concludes our lecture. Thank you so much for listening. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you again in the following lecture.